How's it going? And welcome back to the uh, second episode of uh, Grapple This. I just want to uh, tell you that we're coming in uh, straight out of the Donkey Toboggan Fight Team Gym. There's uh, nobody here right now, so we can get this done. First, I want to tell you about uh, the UFC 121 Lesnar versus Cain Velasquez. Um, the undercard about that is uh, Chris Camozzi versus Dong Yi Yang. Uh, uh, Camozzi was on the Ultimate Fighter, but I don't know who Dong Yi Yang is. Uh, I've probably seen him before, but they uh, all look the same. Uh, heavyweight bout. John Madsen from the Ultimate Fighters heavyweight season is going to take on the veteran Gilbert Iwell. Iwell's a pretty nasty knockout guy. Uh, Madsen likes to do the ground to town, but he really just likes to do the ground. Uh, also, we got a welterweight bout with Mike Guyman versus Daniel Roberts. Guyman's been on the indie scene, indie circuit for quite a while. Um, He's, he was a walkaway champion and king of the cage. Uh, Dan Roberts is a newcomer to the UFC. He'll probably have some uh, first time octagon jitters. Happens to the best of them. A lightweight bout, you got Sam Stout versus Paul Taylor. Stout Canadian, good stand up skills. Paul Taylor, Englishman, good stand up skills. Look to see some good bombs thrown. Should be a good fight. On uh, Spike, they're going to have a couple fights there. Uh, you possibly can see one of the other undercard fights I just talked about. They're going to have a couple middleweight fights. One between Patrick Cote versus Tom Lawler. Um, Tom Lawler's not that good, but he's always got a good weigh in. He always comes out in costume. Last time I think he came out as Dan Severn. Hilarious. Also, we have the. Latest Ultimate Fighter winner, Court McGee versus Ryan Jensen. Uh, Jensen, I believe they're both a couple of grapplers, so it should just be a big grind fest for three rounds. Uh, main card should be decent. We got Brendan Shaw versus Gabe Gonzaga. Shaw coming off the Ultimate Fighter. Oh, there's a lot of guys from the Ultimate Fighter on this card, actually. Um, Shaw versus Gabe Gonzaga. Gonzaga has been uh, good against lesser opponents, but uh, we'll see where Shaw ranks up on the heavyweights here. In a light heavyweight bout, we have Tito, Ort Tito Ortiz versus Matt Hamill, or as uh, Huffman likes to call him, Jeff Guy. Should be a good fight. Tito is going to probably just pound him. He's a little bit better, but a veteran, better skills all, all around. Um, if Hamill wins, it'll probably be by decision. Welterweight bout featuring Diego Sanchez versus Paulo Thiago. This go either way. Um, Paulo got owned by Martin Campman in his last fight. Diego got owned by John Hathaway in his last fight. So we'll see how this event mixes up. In a, another welterweight bout in the co-main event is Jake Shields in his first UFC fight versus Martin the Hitman Campman. This should be a good, decent fight. Uh, Shields, ground guy, he could do jitsu, but uh, his stand-up isn't that great. Where Campman is a all-around fighter, well-rounded skills wherever he needs to take the fight. And in the main event, we have Brock Lesnar versus Cain Velasquez for the heavyweight title bout. Should be a decent fight. Um, a lot of people are saying that Lesnar versus Carwin was Lesnar's biggest challenge yet to date. Um, Velasquez brings a lot of tools to the game. He's got good stand-up, equal wrestling, but you know, Lesnar's just throwing big hammers. You know, you throwing a lunchbox at your head, you know, it's kind of hard to stay awake for that. And in the next episode, I'll just bring, we'll have a guest with us to help with the review. All right, now, talk about uh, Strike Force. They just had a fight a couple weeks ago. Uh, Nick Diaz versus KJ News 2. Uh, decent, decent card. I'm just gonna go through it real quick. 
Tyrone Woodley in a welterweight belt defeated Andre Galvo by TKO in the opening round. In a female welterweight title, Sarah Kaufman versus Marlos Conan. Conan won by armbar in the third round. In a lightweight bout, Josh the Pump Thompson took on Jay-Z Calvacante. Thompson won by unanimous decision. In the main event, it was Nick Diaz versus KJ Noons for the welterweight title. It was a five round war. Diaz picked apart Noons for a while. Noons came back. Diaz picked apart Noons again. Uh, at one point, I believe, Diaz broke Noons' jaw with a knee and grounded him out, pounded him up for the uh, unanimous decision to retain the Detroit Force Worldwide title. And just recently, uh, this past weekend, we saw UFC 120, which uh, I had talked about in the first episode. The first net fight of the night that we saw was Cyril Giabati versus Alexander Gustafson. He came out throwing a few leg kicks. Gustafson throws a nice little combo and rock Giabati. Gustafson took it to the ground in a side mount position. Uh, Giabati escaped to his feet. Gustafson throws a nice few more combos. Clinched up and in the clinch threw a very, very nice uppercut that rocked Giabati. Giabati stumbled around. Uh, Gustafson threw a few more combos, knocks out uh, Giabati's mouthpiece. There was a few more strikes exchanged. Giabati clinched up against the cage. Gustafson threw him down at the end of the round. Round two starts. They both start throwing a few single punches. Giabati lands a punch. Gustafson takes, gets a nice big takedown. Matt Hughes style. Into side position, side mount, Diabati rolls, gets caught in mount, he scrambles again, he gets caught in the full back position, you know, full back mount. Uh, Gustin proceeded to go for a rear naked choke, Diabati slipped it a few times, so Gustin dropped a few bombs on his face, Gustin, uh, then he again went for the rear naked choke and sunk it in for the win in the second round. In a heavyweight bout with Shek Congo versus Travis Brown. This was a three round fight that uh, wasn't really overly that great. Brown came out throwing a wild punch. It's kind of like jumping in, take two steps in, throw a wild punch, take two steps in, throw a wild punch. Brought Congo at one point. Um, Congo regained and it started clinching. Once, it started, once the clinch started, he just held him up against the cage and threw knees to the legs. Throughout the, throughout the rounds, uh, at one point in the second round, Congo decided he wanted to start grabbing Brown's shorts and the refs caught him, deducted a point. Third round starts, basically more clinching up against the cage, more knees to the legs. Um, round ends and the decision ends as a draw. I don't see how it happened that way. I think probably Brown should have won, especially with the point deducted, but because of it, made it a draw. In a welterweight bout, you had John Hathaway take on Mike Plow. It was a good fight. Um, they both came in circling, trying to find a range. Hathaway pressured a little bit, and Kyle shot, got the takedown. Hathaway immediately stood back up and reversed it into a top position. They get up from the cage and exchange a few. Pyle lands a nice uh, overhand right, rocks Hathaway a little bit. Uh, Hathaway decides to clinch, regain his bearings. He breaks away. A few more exchanges happen. Pyle gets another takedown and the round is fired. Start of round two. A few more exchanges strikes. Pyle keeps changing levels, throwing off Hathaway. So the third round starts and uh, Powell comes out, grabs a clinch, and then gets the takedown right away. Uh, basically after that, Powell just grinded out the decision. He did not let Hathaway back up. Um, it was round ended, Powell wins by unanimous decision. 
in a light bulb, lightweight belt, Paul Sass versus Mark Holst, um, basically what happened was Sass pulled guard and went for a triangle. They stood up, Sass pulled guard, they went for a triangle. They both stood up, Sass pulled guard, went for a leg lock. The guy got out, Sass pulled guard again, and worked for a heel hook. Holst spun out of that, another stand up, Sass Superman punch, shoot, pulls guard, Works yet again, another triangle with 30 seconds left in the round. He locks in. Imagine this one. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. A triangle choke. He wins by triangle choke. In a welterweight bout, co-main event of the night, Carlos Condit took on Dan Hardy. It was a good fight. Uh, came out, they throwing leg kicks, exchanging. And then Hardy started to throw his left hook. He landed a couple of them. Condit started with the leg kicks, started back with the leg kicks. Uh, Hardy kept throwing the left hook. Condit countered a few times. Uh, Hardy continued to throw the left hook, just big bombs. Uh, Condit threw a nice spinning elbow, caught Hardy a little bit. Hardy landed a, a left hook, finally. Another good combo lands on Hardy's chin. Hardy throws another left hook, misses. A few more leg kicks from, from uh, Condit. Hardy lands another left hook, another couple left hooks from Hardy, one more exchange, they both throw big bomb left hooks, and Condit lands clean on Hardy's chin, knocking him out for the win, KO in the first round. And in the main event, somehow, he got fight of the night, was Michael Bisping versus Yashihiro Akiyama. Started off decent, they both came out to the center, Bisping poked out a jab and Akiyama threw a big right bomb, rocked Bisping, wobbled him a little bit, you know, stumbled around the mat. Uh, Akiyama didn't really go for the kill, I've seen other guys go for the kill a lot better. He kind of went in there but gave uh, Bisping enough time to recover. And for the rest of the fight, basically all that happened was Bisping out kickboxed Akiyama, who would poke a jab and throw a big right bomb. Um, through three rounds, uh, there was a few uh, nut shots, little ball kicks or whatever you want to call it, groin shots. And ended in a decision, this thing outpointing Akiyama for the decision. Yay. Um, one last thing I just want to bring up real quick is uh, and up and coming in the future here, at the beginning of the year, uh, we have a few good fights on hand, some matchups that uh, I was pleased to hear about. We probably discussed with a few uh, viewers and or guys, guests that we have on the show. Uh, the first, the first uh, event of the year is actually on January 1st. We're going to have a few good fights. It'll be for the lightweight title, Frankie Edgar versus Green Maynard. Um, Edgar looking to redeem his only loss against Green Maynard, and Maynard looking to uh, continue his undefeated streak in the UFC. In a heavyweight bout, we have Shane Carlin versus Roy the Country Nelson. That should be a good fight. Um, Nelson coming off a loss to Junior DeSantos. Took some bombs, so we'll see how. Uh, he can take Sh uh, Shane Carlin's bombs. In a lightweight bout, we have Clay Guida taking on Takanori Gomi. And uh, again, sometime in January, the UFC is going to do another fight for the troops. So keep your eyes peeled. And uh, until next time, grapple this. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle.